2020 was a year of high expectation for me and Talisker One. We hoped to sail to Faroe, and if weather and time permitted, Iceland. Due to COVID-19, I reluctantly decided to stay close to home. In this video, I show some winter work. I also explain how I manage my halyards and reefing lines. I visit RNLI Pen Lee to pay my respects to those who lost their lives in 1981. That courageous shout carried out by the Penley lifeboat on that fateful night was to a commercial ship. But to us amateur sailors who put to sea in a foolhardy way, men and women of the RNLI will risk and could lose their lives to save you. So do the knowledge, prepare properly, know your limits. Winter work was going very well. On the 23rd of March, the first lockdown in the UK began because of COVID-19. I did not visit the boatyard and Talisker One again until June. I decided without an ocean on my doorstep that me and Talisker One would launch, but not leave the Thames estuary for the rest of 2020. So why not give Talisker One some much needed professional extra TLC. By mid-June, in dry warm weather, I had applied below the waterline gel shield and a coat of hard antifoul. Andy from Finish First had repaired the many imperfections, dings and dents on her 29-year-old topsides. Another professional, Andy Bennett, polishes her top sides. A job that has always taken me twice as long, and I've never done the job so well. I have to gel shield where the cradle pads were. Talisker One expertly moved in her cradle by James and his team at Suffolk Yacht Harbour. I often get asked how I organise my halyards and reefing lines. These clutches control the spinnaker pole on the mast track. Starboard side, I installed those two clutches. One's for the Genoa halyard, the other one's for the Spinnaker halyard. Two lines, I installed that winch there, and there is pole up with that clutch. Starboard side in the cockpit, furler for the stay sail, kicker, reef one, main halyard, that is reef three. And that's the tack, and that is the furler for the Genoa. Port side, I have outhaul, reef three, reef two, that is the halyard for the stay sail. It's the topping lift, and that's pole downhaul. That, of course, is uh, reef three for the leech. So I have single line reefing for reefs one and two, double line reefing for reef three. I have used reef three 
uh, quite a lot. And here's the rather unusual arrangement, um, which is bespoke. There's the stay sail further, and the tonneau further in front. Um, stay sail is massive success. Completing the coats of gel shield and hard anti foul on the cradle pad patches. Anodes, a couple of coats of soft anti foul, and we're ready for the sea. Kindly helped by my mate Bill and his grandson Ethan to get me up the mast. And back in commission. Windy day under stay sail only. at anchor in beautiful Pie Fleet Creek. anchor in the Orwell. Twenty-four tanks to get out of the Orwell. 